As we all know, as a great mitzvah to gather together more than 10 men, and of course the, the more the better, Berov Amadrat Melech, when a king has a lot of followers, he's a respectable king. When he barely have any followers, he's not such a great king. So the more people come and gather together to praise and thank the Lord, obviously it's greater for him. So when we go to the synagogue, it's like Bet HaMikdash, Mikdash Me'at, similar to the Holy Temple, the house of God that was in Jerusalem and unfortunately was destroyed already for 2,000 years. So now we get into the synagogue and that's the replacement of the Bet HaMikdash all over the world. We gather together, we pray, we say Kaddish, we say Divrei Torah, people come closer to Hashem, they hear laning of the Torah, the parasha of every week. There's a lot of positive things in Eshul. However, some people with ignorance, maybe they don't have bad intention, it comes more like from lack of knowledge, they lose a lot more than what they gain. It's similar to a person who invests a million dollars in order for him to make one dollar. Do you know a bigger fool than such a person to invest a million in order for you to make a dollar? You want to you want to invest a dollar to make a million. You don't want to invest a million to, to make a dollar. The people that speak in the synagogue while we pray to Hashem lose a million and make one dollar. And it's actually even worse than that. And I'm being gentle here. Speaking to your friends or to people, making jokes, speaking about sports, speaking about politics, speaking about business, or even about the weather, or about the family, or, you know, all kinds of conversations in the middle of the prayers is a very serious crime against Hashem. You come to praise Him and you do the exact opposite. You come to thank Him and you do the exact opposite. Not only you gain nothing, you actually lose a lot more. It would be better off for you never to come if you cannot control your mouth than to come and speak inside the synagogue. Especially in the middle of the Kaddish, which is already a very, very serious crime. And the reason people do it is usually because of lack of knowledge, not because they're evil, not because they came to rebel against God, God forbid. It's just because of lack of knowledge. And I will give a proof from Shulchan Aruch, the Jewish book of law. The Jewish book of law compare one person one sinner to a murderer. Who was the first murderer in the world? Cain, the brother of Evel. He murdered his brother, by the way, not even knowing what he's doing. He just had a fight with him. He never saw anyone died before. That was the first killing in this world. And when God came to Cain and asked him, where is your brother Evel? He said, I don't know. I'm not his keeper. Shomer achi anochi. And Hashem said to him, the bloods, not blood, bloods meaning plural, of your brother are screaming to me from the ground. Meaning not only Evel is screaming to me for you killing him. It's his children and grandchildren and grand-grandchildren until the end of days, technically half of the world. And when Cain realized the crime he just committed, he said, Gadol avonim in so. My sin, my crime is great. It's too great to carry. It's unbearable. There's no way to carry my sin, my crime, because it's so big and so heavy. And in Shulchan Aruch, the Jewish book of law, this is how they define a person who comes to the synagogue to speak. And he speaks things that are not related to the davening to the prayers. And this is what he says. He says, someone that speaks inside the shul. And, you know, it's a disgrace to the name of Hashem. Gadol avono minso. His crime is unbearable, impossible to carry such a crime. Just like Cain, the first murderer in the creation. Vegoarimbo. And you have to speak harsh to him, warn him to stop. And if he is not stopping to speak in the middle of the davening in the synagogue, it's mitzvah, not permitted. It's an obligation to throw him out. That's what's written by the Rambam and in Shulchan Aruch and in every holy book.
even though we have a huge sin to embarrass a person in public, Amal bin pnei chavero barabim, keilu shofech damim, it's count like almost like a murder. O Amal bin pnei chavero barabim, en lo chelek laolam haba, someone who embarrass another Jew in public, can lose his share to the world to come. That's how severe it is to embarrass another person in public. However, if he's a person that speaks in a synagogue and you gave him a warning once or twice and he continue with his horrible habit, it's mitzvah to embarrass him and throw him out of the synagogue and not allow him to come ever again to pray in that place. From here we learn how horrible is this thing. And many people come to do good and in the end they do only bad. Maybe not intentionally, but it's time they'll understand. If you cannot control your mouth in a synagogue, do not come to the synagogue. Why? You disturb other people, people get angry, it causes hatred between people, it creates a lot of politics and fights, and also the rabbi of that shul, the person is in charge, the rabbi, the gabai, whoever is in charge of the community there, has an obligation to stop it. And since most people today are embarrassed to rebuke people and to make them stop or to punish them for suspending them from the synagogue because they don't want to start fights in the community, so they keep their mouth closed, all the sins that take place over there goes on their head. So if you don't care about God, at least you might as well have mercy on your own rabbi. Because the more problems you create in a synagogue, he will have to pay for that. Because he didn't stop you. So for sure, there's only losses here, no gain. People have to take it serious and don't be embarrassed. If your friends talk, say, no, shh, shh, don't let them talk. Why? We came here to pray, not to get Hashem upset. Thank you very much.